In this video, we will discuss the static perturbation step in finite element analysis. A static perturbation step is an analysis procedure used to model scenarios that behave linearly and are considered to be static. In this video, we will show you how to determine if a static perturbation is appropriate for modeling a scenario. Rather than listing all the characteristics that would make a scenario linear, we will describe the things that can cause a nonlinear response. The material behavior can cause a nonlinear response. This includes metal parts loaded above the yield point and rubber parts. Changing contacts between parts causes something called boundary nonlinearities. Parts that experience very large displacements cause geometric nonlinearities. Sometimes a model might have all three nonlinearities. These models require a very high level of expertise. Therefore, if you have nonlinear materials, boundaries, or geometries, do not use a static perturbation step. Next we need to examine what we consider a static response. If we hang a weight from a spring, the spring will be elongated by some amount, x. We can use Newton's second law, f equals m times a, to describe how this system behaves. If we are not careful in hanging the object, it will bounce up and down. The motion and forces will follow Newton's law, will eventually stop bouncing. When there is no more motion, the acceleration of the object will be zero, and at this point in time, t minus w will be equal to zero. We say that the system is at equilibrium, or that the system is static. When we perform a static procedure, we are evaluating the system, with a set of applied loads, at its equilibrium point, 